I'm Tessa Hunkin and I came up with the idea for the project about, must be about six years ago now, um, but Hackney had the idea, they were looking for um, a, a project for um, people with addiction problems in recovery, a sort of, you know, um, after they've been through rehab and when they were just getting back on their feet and activities for them to do to help with their recovery. And, it's, and now we've been going... The project has actually been running for four years, over four years of work, and, and the work that we do in the parks seems, you know, the local people really like it. Um, but it is pretty hand-to-mouth, um, and the money keeps drying up, and at the moment we don't have any funding from the council or from the Drug and Alcohol Services, we, but we do have a commission from London is hard for, for this kind of thing. Um, it's not fashionable. Uh, it, it's not obviously getting people back into employment, and that's really all the government cares about. These, these two down here that I've just recently done, I finished that one yesterday with John Lee. Well, that Orion one's rather special because it lights up. My name is Jamie Johnson. I was on a alcohol reduction and recovery service. Um, I'm a recovering alcoholic and I noticed the posters on the wall. I only live over the road, so I thought I'd give it a try one day. And I came over here, that was 18 months, 19 months ago, and I've not missed a day since. But this was like the last thing I tried, but the first thing that's worked. You know, and it's just, I've got so much confidence, it's giving me self belief, a sense of purpose. I'm actually giving something back to the community as well. You know, I'm not isolating myself, I'm getting out and about now, meeting people. You know, I mean, this is the first thing that I've actually been good at. And if that's taken away, I'll have nothing again. And there will be, I mean, it would put my recovery at risk. It really would. Because whilst we're here, we're not on the streets, we're not causing any trouble. You know, and I can't believe that this place, this, this is actually working on so many levels for so many people. But because like the people at the top above us who, who do the grants and the, you know, and everything like that, they're taking a very, very, very yeah. short-sighted view. Yeah, it's a short-term gain for them and a, it's a bloody long-term loss for us. Uh, my name's Ken, Ken Edwards. And I found out about this project from uh, Jeremy, he's from Life and if you look right behind me you see another one that Tessa made into a, um, a paper mosaic, there's a poem that I made talking about like, how her works come to fruition and whatever. And that's all it is, I just like to see the end project and know the people who love it. One of my grandchildren, she was down and I took her there to the one at Hoxton and she said to me, which bit did you do, Grandpa? And I said, I've done that big man in the middle. And she was just, wow. It's just knowing that people appreciate what I do. And with that, I've made three mosaics from the church, and they want me to make a fourth and a fifth. And now I like, because of this, I like to appreciate classical music. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about the statistics and things. And one of the things about the grant is that they... They never come to see the project. It all has to be done on forms and, you know, numbers of people who pass through and, you know, we, we're supposed to provide statistics about how many people we've prevented from relapsing. Well, you know, how can you know? They, but I think if people come here and they see, you know, it's, it is, it's quite unique.